Hi everyone. So uh, I said I started painting and forgot to push record, so I'm doing it over. But it's okay, Nubby. So this is the um uh the four square heart, and it's really cute. And I don't have a sample of it because this is a sample. <laughs> okay, so I'm gonna show you how to do it. I uh, just made a um cardstock or a poster board because it's easier to trace. It'll stay still for you. Um, a heart. And then I always fold it in half. Because that way you're sure that both sides will match each other. Right? And then poop. Now they do. And then uh, I just put it in the middle. But it's always slightly above center. So there's a whole hand here. But a half a hand here is just slightly above center. It's just... A composition thing okay and then you just put a line and line line to make four little quadrants okay so I picked some um, I picked five complementary colors and a, a yellow and you can choose all your own colors fun and um, I'm gonna try to show you how to do it 3d and you guys know the color wheel right Always got another color wheel to play colors. So I chose yellow, turquoise, blue violet, red violet, and orange. Okay, I went around da, 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 like that. And the only thing you can't do is um, you can't go across, you can go next to each other, like that one's next to that one, next to you know, the the red violet is next to orange, which is next to yellow, which is next to turquoise, which is next to the blue violet, right? And that's all good. But what we can't do is go directly across. That'll make brown, purple and yellow, brown, orange, blue, brown, red and green. Those are those are contrasts because they're directly across. And when you mix colors across, they cancel each other out. Uh, there's a... Um, a scientific instrument called an oscilloscope which measures sound waves and our eye is kind of like that where if you have a high wave and a low wave fine uh, but if you have a two or you have a, a you know they will cancel each other out that's what I mean to say I'm gonna go all into it that's boring um, so these two cancel each other out these two cancel each other out these two cancel each other out and it's not a brown you could use it's just kind of bleh. Okay, so we don't want to do that. So I'm going to do the yellow first because I start with the lightest color first and go up. I don't use water to rinse out my cup, but you're welcome. I mean, in a cup, I use a coffee cup because it doesn't tip over. Um, but I, I don't, I'm not going to use water this time. I'm just going to stamp my color and then wipe it off with a paper towel. Squeezy, squeezy. And then as long as I'm going in rainbow order... You know, this color can't hurt this color, this color can't hurt this color, this color can't hurt this color, and this color that can't hurt this color. Then I'm not going to make any brown. Right? So that's what I'm going to do. Lightest to darkest. So I'm going to do the yellow first. And now you're going to see where I started. <laughs> Whoops. <laughs> so I'm going to stab my yellow. And I just get a whole bunch of yellow on there. I'm using a round paintbrush, which means they always come to a point like this. I'll show you again another one so you can see. I'm in my studio, so I have lots of paintbrushes in here. But uh, a round looks like this. They just come to a point. But when you smash them, they may, they're they rounded at the top. That's why they're round. If you smash a square when she's flat, uh, right? we want it round. And we're going to go like this and just, this is how you outline and paint. As you, you get a glob of paint on there. And then you just smash your paintbrush. And when your paintbrush touches the canvas, it will go whoop and open. But I only stir at that one hair from my open paintbrush and let it touch the pencil that I did. And then it will outline it real good. So I just go, oh, no, you're not going to be able to see it because I already did it. But let me hold it up close so you can see. But I go smash and I just go next to it and then I sneak up and let one hair touch the pencil and then I push. And I have to do this over because it's all dry. By the time it took me to, to get reorganized, it's already dried. 
so I have to wet this so it's nice and shiny. And then I go smash, and I my paintbrush opens, but I push. I don't wiggle my paint. That'll make everything look furry. I just push. Look at that glob of paint. That beat. I don't care. It'll dry super bright yellow right there. You know what I mean? Like the pigment, the amount of pigment left behind when there's a glob is a lot. Well, that's just going to make it extra, extra, extra yellow. And then we go along the sides. And then more yellow. Great. Okay, now here's the fun part. We're going to make it 3D. So I got to lick my paintbrush off. I'm just kidding. You get a paper towel. Hold the other. It's squeezy really quick. Come on, paint Like that. You can see a little bit of yellow on there. But I'm just getting white. So it's not going to hurt. But I want a clean paintbrush. Clean paintbrush before I go get white. And I don't stir my paint when I go to get it. I just give it a poke. Okay, I want to coat my paintbrush. But I don't want to get whatever left inside that paintbrush hiding. Smear it all inside my white. So I just go poke. I'm going to go off of it, Blah, but I don't care. Now I'm going to put this right in the middle. Hey, how did it turn baby yellow like that? How, how did it do that? I thought it just got white. Oh, yeah, because there was a little bit of yellow in my paintbrush. Now this is, I'm going to put this yellow white here, and I'm never going to go back and touch that again. But I'm, a, I'm in the middle of it, but I can go along her edges. So I grab it and I sneak up and I sneak up and I sneak up. I get some yellow and then pull it. Blah, 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 blah. But never go into the middle of the hole. We will wait a little bit. Very, very yellow. And then all oh, I can get near the bottom of it, but I cannot go to the middle of it. Mm -mm. There. And it looks kind of funky right now, but I like the texture. Look at that scribbly texture. That's fun, but my edges are smooth. Which is good. Okay, now I'm going to clean my paintbrush. And not because I don't want the yellow. Because I want a dry paintbrush. And this is called a uh, dry blending. Which means don't add any more paint. Just play with the paint you got. And we're going to try to make 3D. So 3D needs at least three values of a color. Dark, medium, light. Well, the dark is yellow. Is obviously where I outlined it. Where it's super, super yellow. And then the lightest yellow will be where it was just pure white and a tad a bit of yellow for my paintbrush. Now there's no paint on my paint. We're going to do this four times. So this will just be your ugliest one. Because it's your first one. Okay, now no paint on my paintbrush. I'm just going to, and I'm using the side of the paintbrush and gently. I'm just going to go fuzzy, fuzzy the edges. Fuzzy, fuzzy, fuzzy. There. And then I could do it again. But I don't want to do it to my... How many color values am I rooting for? Three. three. Dark. Medium is where I start to run out. And it looks really just whitish yellow. And then that brightest spot is... Uh, I never go back to that spot again because there's yellow on my... I'll just cover it up. So I got a dark area on the outside. Then a medium area. But how much white did we get? Just that one poke, right? Well, what if I wanted to, I, I like, oh, I messed that up. You can, and I'll, maybe I'll show you with a different color. But I can get more white, or I'll do it now. And I could go, oh, I put too much yellow. I could put more white in the middle. Of course, she'll be the brightest. But then I can never touch that middle. I'm using the side of my paintbrush. Um, it's softer. Makes a better texture. The tip, watch, she'll just scratch the paint off. She's a little sharp. So I go, blah, blah, blah. and then I never go back and touch the middle again. But let me fuzz out the outside. Blah, 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 blah. But not straight lines. Start, stop, start, stop. That'll look like a bunch of Z's. So I'm big, little, little, big, little, big, little, big, little, big, little, big, little, 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 And then I'm running out of white on purpose. And then I can go, oh, there. Brightest, mediumest, lightest. Sweet. Okay, then I clean my paintbrush. Yep. And then, according to the color wheel, and if you don't have a color wheel, look on your phone. Look up color wheel. And I go that way. Kaboom. Right? All right. That's right. Or teal. Because I love this color. So I'm going to get the teal. And 
I just need one. It's not very much paint at all. I just need a poke of paint. Now you can see me outline it good. Watch this. So I go, okay, because the other one was already painted, you know. So I go smash. Now I'm going to open my paintbrush because I landed real hard. And I open and I sneak up. And look at that one hair that's touching. And it does touch the yellow. They're not scared of each other. They can touch. Oh, look at that bead of paint that's squishing out. That I am literally hoping for that. Oh, look at the color they made when they touched. I like it. Okay, then more paint. Step. Now I'm going to go above the line and smash and sneak down. And wee. Did I pick up my paintbrush and wiggle? No. That'll make it all furry. I just want it. I just want it. You know. This is all the turquoise I'm gonna put is this outline too. And then and then always land above it, sneak down. One hair. Whoosh. I have to do this. I say that for last because it kind of scares me. So I'm gonna do it gentler, softer. Smash and, and oh, that's okay. Boop. Because that'll be dry by the time we do the heart and it will paint right over it. I'm not scared. Oh, I forgot the outside frame. And then swipe, easy. Now I can scribble. I don't care. I'm not outlining something anymore, you know? Okay, there. Fine. Okay, now I'm going to clean our pant brush. Uh, no. Don't do that. You weirdo. Okay. Now, look at you. Can you see a little bit of yellow in there? That was hiding when we did the yellow. That's how we do it in rainbow order, because you drop off one color inside of the next color. It's so bad. Okay, now I got a dry paintbrush, right? So I wiped it off, but the, the you know, it still got a little bit. We're going to use that little bit to make the center. Remember that with the white? So we just go, stab! Did I stir? No. And I go, Bleh. oh, baby turquoise, look at it. Maybe more. A little bit more. It's, I could even tell. It sounded a little dry. Okay, I'm going to go one more stab. I don't think it picked up very much. So I'm going to go, stab! I just want to show you why. Because I would like it to have some fluffy texture. And that's completely flat. But if I put my paint on that thin and flat, the air is stealing the water out of the paint the whole time. As soon as you make it thin. And it will dry too fast and I'll be mad. So I'm going to drop it off. See, nice and lumpy. And then, oh, look at that texture now. And then it will move around a little better. Okay, now I'm going to sneak up to that turquoise. Never going back and touching this middle part again. She's finished. But I can touch her edges. Sneaky, sneak. Oh, down. Oh. Now we're going to go back and fix it with the dry brushing, remember? Oh, yeah, I forgot to tell you. I'm doing this as a YouTube video with no class. Usually I do it with a class. And they determine how fast I go. Nobody's here. So I'm talking to myself. So as soon as I'm done with this step, I assume you're done too. Rude. So, oh, it's all dry down here. I should have put some more white right there, huh? Let me just get a poke more. Poke there. <laughs> that little goober white. Oh, now I can sneak up to the edges there. No, 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 no. And then the edges here. So if I go too fast, just push pause and catch up with me. When I, do, when I uh, work with the kids and they're on their laptops or their tablets, I always remind them, so if you're one of those kids, you could put saran wrap over your uh, tablet, you know, clear clear um, plastic over your um, your keyboard. If you're pushing, you know, the space bar to get to pause or you're just pushing pause, um, I get paint on my hands and then I get it on my phone or on my tablet or my PC. So I just put a piece of plastic because I don't care. Okay, now, that's an interesting texture. Okay, and then I got dark areas, medium areas, light areas, but I lost the texture. So now I get to fix it, fix it with my... So, but I'm going to do it dry paintbrush, so I don't want to add any paint from my paintbrush. I'm just going to use the side of the paintbrush and push it around. Okay. So, let's start in the darkest area and just change her texture so it's more interesting. And I never go all the way to the edge. It's finished. I outlined it really good, so I don't have to worry about that. And I'm just going to, la, 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 look at the good texture. Uh-oh. I'm doing that thing not, I said not to do with the yellow. 
Start, stop, start, stop, start, stop. Don't they just look like a bunch of, oh, sorry. Start, stop, start. That looks like a bunch. I should be going big, little, 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 big, little, little, big, little, big, little, big, big, little, big, little, more interesting texture to look at than start, stop, oh, big, little, small, small, big, little, 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 oh, he, oh, he. No, more interesting to look at because you can't see my eye. Oh. See, there's the edge of one. But I'm doing them small. And then look, now I just have a cloud. Now I'm going to go closer to the middle. Just wiping off what's left of my paintbrush. Oh, they're done. Let's just fix that corner. Can I miss that top spot? Okay, there, did it. So do I have dark, medium, light? Yes. But what if I kept playing with it and playing with it? What would happen? I just want to play with it and play with it because it's fun. If I just keep mixing white with my, my outline color, it'll just become a oh, color. I mean, that's fine and everything. But we're trying to be interesting. So try not to touch too much. And if you do, who cares? Just say you meant to do it. They don't know me. They don't see this. They're going to see your painting and love it. So I'm just, it's a suggestion from over here. Okay. So I went turquoise. Do I go too fast and push pause? Great. Okay, now I'm going to jump around and go, uh, now I go, turquoise, blue violet. So this is my blue violet. Can't wait till you see her. She's called, um, aqua blue? No, aquamarine. And I don't know why, but you know what color they actually call these, all colors, is what color they are mixed with white. Not this. It's when you go to lighten it. And you're like, whoa, there's the color. This is just dense pigment in a, in a clear gel. So once you mix it with white, it changes. Right? It becomes a, di a different color. So I'm going to open up. This is a blue violet. So let's go poke. And I'm just going to go, all right then. Outlining. You want to see up close? So I go smush, push, wait, there's white in my paintbrush and I can finally see her. She's blue. Where's the purple part that's supposed to be in it? I think I just got blue. Oh, this isn't blue violet. It kind of looks like it in camera, but not in person. Because there's a little bit of white in my paintbrush and I can see her comes blue. I don't know. So I get another poke. Colors are amazing. I don't know. Light changes them. And then how am I outlining again? Just to reveal. I go smash and then sneak up that one hair touch. And here's my chance to straighten that crooked line. Oh. Right. And then I stab my do the outside edge. And nobody cares about the outside edge. See, it's definitely looking more blue now. Because the white in my paintbrush is coming out. You see it? It looks blue-violet in my camera. Maybe it is. Cameras have a computer that help them adjust the colors. So cameras that can actually help you. <laughs> help you with your colors. Okay, now I'm, gonna, I'm not going to um, clean my paintbrush this time. I'd like to be a little bit more blue. I remember what happened when we wipe off our paintbrush and I just a little bit on there. I'm just going to get a little bit off because I think I would like a little darker. So just give a squeeze, a little a gentler squeeze. There's still blue in it because I know I get to make bluish white next. So I'm now going to stab my white and I just go, stab. <gasps> but I didn't stir. And then I'm going to put it in the middle. Ooh. But you know what? Look how dry that is again. It's such a big area. You know, it's big. So I need a bigger, more white. So it has that thicker, smushier, frosting like texture. There we go. It's those lumps that you get to move around. See how lumpy she is? Now she can sneak up. Mm hmm. And just kind of rent. Oh, I'm doing the start and stop thing. I said, don't do that. I'll go back right now and fix it. Okay. I just kind of smart around the edges. Because the white's in my paintbrush. Now I'm going to do it with the 
start, stop, start, start, you know, big, little, small, little, big, little, big, little, little, just to uh, break up that texture so it's not a perfect uh, square. Okay, there. Now, I could push the white around. Uh-oh, too dry. I heard it. It literally sounded like I was scratching. There. Oh, that's so interesting. Look at my long rectangle square, square, start, stop, start, stop, start. That's okay. I'm going to do it now with a clean paintbrush. Fixie, fixie. What if I ended, wanted to add more blue on the outside? Okay. Do it. Play, play, play. What if you put too much blue? Put more white and push out. The problem is we go, ooh, we get to the dark outside and it's in your paintbrush now. Because you put, you went, wait, 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 got to the outside, and it's in your paintbrush, and then you go, let me fix the middle again. Pluh. You just dropped off a glob of the blue that you picked up from the outside edge. Okay, now I'm going to go like this, and go big little, smaller, big little, smaller, big little, smaller, clean paintbrush, and just change your texture with the side of my paintbrush. Just kind of ruin those ugly scratches I made. No, it's too light. I want, I want a little bit more blue. I'm going to put it on the side here. And then, okay, I want the sides a little darker there. And then now that I did it blue, or more. Right, she's jealous of this inside rim. I'm going to try to help her. There. Because it got dark blue and she didn't. Okay. Now, there's a, I made a tower. With my start stop now, I'm gonna run out of paint. Big little small little big little small little big little small little big little small. Little, and then less paint. I'm running out of paint. I'm running. I'm there's almost no paint left in my paintbrush. I know, on purpose. Big little big little big little big little. And I give it permission to be like all scraggly because the texture is interesting to look at. And do you know how you learn how to blend? and um, when to stop touching it, and when you went too far, and all that stuff. Do you know when? After you've ruined it. You know why? Because you're on Earth. And on Earth, this is a learning planet. A lot of, and so most things you can only learn by making adjustments after you've ruined it. <laughs> Sorry, if you wanted it easier here, you should pick a different planet where everybody already it's like instinct and everything is downloaded as soon as you exist. No, not here. Okay, so what comes after blue? Remember, did I go too fast? Push pause. And play some more with that square. Who cares? Okay, now I'm going to take this. Now I'm going to jump over to orange. You know why? I'm skipping over red violet. Because I want my heart to be red violet. So I'm going to do orange. But orange and blue, look. Orange and blue are directly across from each other, so they will look high contrast and look pretty neat. Um, we don't want them to mix. So if you get, if you have orange on your paintbrush and you pick up some blue, push pause, clean your paintbrush, because when you start doing this, they'll make brown. Okay, so we just want to do a nice, smooth outline, and oops, picked up some blue, wipey, then keep going. Okay, I'll show you. So I'm going to get my orange. Whatever colors you have, everything's fun and looks beautiful together. I'm just, I just went to art theory class, so all this is important to me. You know, when you learn something, it sticks in there and then you, you feel like that's the rule. <laughs> but what if it's not the rule? It's just someone else's opinion. I don't know. So I stab the orange. Okay. So it's not going to get dangerous to do uh, along there. So what if I wait and do that? Where the blue and the orange are going to touch last so the blue has a longer chance to dry so i'll do along the heart and yellow is dry and then go along the edge with the orange right so i go smush wee, and look at the good orange and, oh, oh there's still more blue in there i'm gonna give my paintbrush a squeeze squeeze and look at i don't care the blue squeezed out some the orange squeezed out some more of the blue for me. Now I get more orange. Now, see, now there's no more blue in there. And I'll just paint over the ugly part. There. 
I'm trying to get it right up to the edge. I don't need white stuff showing. And then on the bottom, and what did I say for last? The part where blue touches. I'm trying to get rid of that white. Oh, get out of here. Get out of here, white. You can see you. Look at it. Now I'm going to do my outline so I land. Can I bring it closer for you? Because they're going to touch, but I can push blue out of my way. But you see there where they're, oops, sorry, where they're touching is fine. As long as I do that nice smooth stroke. But now look at my paintbrush. It's got blue and orange in it. But all I have to do is just not go visit that orange line and I will not touch and make a mistake. I know the paper towel that won't cry. Give it a squeeze. Squeeze that blue out. Oh, see, I told you. It looks like a rabbit. Okay. Let me get white. And I go stab. And I go, ooh. Creamsicle. Two scoops. Because you know why? I am on automatically two thick scoops. Because I'm just remembering from when I did the blue. And then slumpy. I'm going to paint the middly part. Hello. I'm creamsicle orange. But you like those um, sherberts? The sherbert push-up pops? I do. Now that my middle's got sloppy wet and there's some white in my paintbrush, I'm going to sneak up to the orange and make medium, which is the dark plus the light. Ew, look at this start, stop, start, stop texture. That's so ugly. Ugly. I'm being careful of the orange. Careful. I'm just not going very deep. There. Ew, that is so ugly. But let me check. Do I have 3D? And while I have dark, so I just don't touch the edge anymore. She's fine. I have medium where orange and white mix, and then it has the light. But I know I'm going to push further into the white when I play with it. So now I just need to fix my ugly start, stop, start, stop texture. And I can just go over it one more time and do big little long little little side of my paintbrush. Big little small little big little big little small little big little small small big little small small big 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 small 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 Just ruining the texture so it doesn't look like a repeating um, straight line pattern. There. And now I can clean my paintbrush. That made me pick up a whole bunch of white. And I need no paint paintbrush to do blending. Right? And that way I'll just play with the paint that's there and not add anything. And now I'm doing it softer just to change the texture. And I'm like, you can change and you can change. And now I'm just doing the inside rim of this little white scribbly. I was worried I had too much paint in my paintbrush. So that's definitely why I wanted to clean it. Uh-oh. Start, stop, start, stop. Look what I did again. Big little, little, big little, small, 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 like little, big little. There. Jump, 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 just to fix the texture so I don't have that scrambly, that ugly, ugly texture. Yeah. Jump, 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 jumping around. Trying not to stay in one place. There. So how many colors do I have for 3D? Dark on the outside, then medium, then light. Perfect. And I clean my paintbrush bits. You know, if you were going to play with this more only while the paint was wet, is what could I add to yellow that I could have played? And it's dry right now, so I can't do anything to it anymore. And my paintbrush is dirty. But while I was visiting yellow, I could have added a little bit of green or some, a little bit of something to it, a little orange. I couldn't have added purple. But what if I added some blue and make green? What if I added some... Red, it would have turned orange, right? But I could be delicate about it. And what if it turns out really ugly and you hate it? Let it dry and then paint it again. Because once it's dry, it doesn't move around anymore. And then, but then you have to wash your paintbrush to start fresh. Otherwise, all your colors would have all of these colors. Okay, now I get to make pink, my pink heart. So, I'm going to get my pink open. And her name is Patantho Pink. Patantho Red. And she's basically just a hot pink love. So, I go stab. Because I want to do the outline. 
So luckily we're doing the, the heart last because we're really good at outlining now. So let me bring it closer to my paint down. So look at that oopsie right there. I don't even care. I go smash and I'm in the heart because the whole heart turns pink. But then I sneak up and let push my paint. Let one hair do the outlining. Oop, turn my paintbrush over. There's paint on the other side. Boop. And then plop. My scribbling. No, I push. And is it okay for my paints to overlap? Yes. Orange and pink is pretty. Orange and blue is pretty. Right? Oh, there is orange in my paintbrush. So let's keep it a little pipey. Just in case. And then more pink. And why do I let the paint be so thick? Because the thicker the paint, it goes smash and that thick bead of paint pops out the side. That's what I'm after. And the pink is in front of my outline by one hair. Oh, you couldn't see. Yeah. What happens when I stare at my painting and not at what you're seeing? Okay, there's smash. And then one little oopsie right there, flick. And I have a good outline. I can even go one more outline, so it's very, very pink. You know? And then I get my, clean my paintbrush so I can go get white without running on my white. Stab! Oh! Stab the wrong color. Stab the white. Blah, 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 blah. Two skips of white. Stab it! And get a nice little lumpy. And I go put it in the middle. I make it very, very white in the middle. And then I, there. Now I'm going to push that white and go fetch some paint. Without going near the edge. I just in medium world. Visiting medium world. Or yellow and or or white and the pink are touching. Oh look! Start, stop, start, stops. Ugly. As soon as I do it, I recognize it. Like, cause it's not party. Not an interesting texture. So I clean my paintbrush. I clean paintbrush. I can change it. So I don't want to visit the outside anymore. She's fine. Maybe just where medium and light meet. Big little, small, little, 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 just in the world where those two colors meet. I'm not going to visit everything, so I'll pick up too much pink. Big little, small, little, big little, small, little, big little, small, little, big, big, small, small, I can, as soon as I do the start, stop, start, stop, I can recognize it, and I'll, I know, likey. Because you know why? Looks like a scroll. Okay, now I'm going to go uh, clean my paintbrush with a no paint paintbrush, and I'm going to do the edge where the... The, the medium touches the dark. Big little, small little, big little, small little, big little, small little. Oh, oh. Oh, I put the dark in the light and the light in the dark and the dark. Oh, better be scribbly about it. I mean, I mean, um, big little, small little, big little, small little. Try to ruin the, the texture of the edge. There. Right? Dark, medium, light, dark, medium, light. And every color, could we say we have dark areas, medium areas, light areas? We do. Good job. I know I probably went too fast because I usually pace myself based on how the class was going. So who's got more white than me? No. Oh, who's got more color than me? <laughs> Who used different colors? <laughs> it's all good. It's all fun. And if we, if we go, oh, that part turned out terrible. Oh, I got orange in my blue and it turned brown. Wait about 20 minutes. You can use a hair dryer to make it go faster. Wash out your paintbrush. Then I would wash out my paintbrush because you start mixing colors by accident. And then just do that one square again or that one part again. Right? Good job. You guys did a really good job. That was fun. I like, and I hope. Yours comes out with all your favorite colors and you used to, uh, and, and, and got to experience just a little bit of play, right? Just for fun. Put this in behind the garage or behind in the back of the closet or whatever. And then if you keep painting, you get out your 
your earlier paintings and you'll be impressed with how fast your brain learns things. So good job.